Well, we know it's important for children to get their vitamins. Well, the American Academy of Pediatrics is now recommending that the daily amount of vitamin D be doubled for all children. Joining us from Raleigh, North Carolina is Dr. Ian Smith. Good morning. Good morning, Julie. Why this new recommendation? Well, you know, research is only as good as what the current evidence is. Back in 2003, the recommendation was for 200 units for children and teenagers. Now they realize that new research is showing that you need to at least double that in order not to just fight off some of the old diseases like rickets, which is a bone disease, and osteomalacia, which, osteomalacia, which is a weakness of the muscles and the bones, but now we're looking at diabetes, heart disease, even cancer. So, so researchers are now saying, hey, listen, more vitamin D could mean fighting off other diseases. And the recommendation is to actually get the extra vitamin D from supplements as opposed to food? Why? Well, the reason from supplements, Julie, is because of, uh, the amount you have to consume of food is quite enormous. For example, if you're a child, you'd have to drink four cups of fortified milk in order to get your recommend re recommended 400 units. Most children and teenagers are not drinking uh, four cups. So what you have to do is figure out whether or not you can get a combination of milk fortified cereals or oily fish such as tuna or mackerel, sardines. So you have to talk to your doctor to figure out do you need all 400 in the form of supplements or just part of the 400. Is there such a thing as having too much vitamin D in your diet? You can have too much vitamin D, but it is so rare, Julie, because the amount you have to consume is outrageous. Most people, 95% of people who are consuming the average diet, who are getting the average exposure to sunlight, will not have a uh, too much vitamin D in their system. Okay, Dr. Ian Smith, thank you. Nice talking to you, Julie.